uh, using sound blankets quite a lot. Um, I know in TV, obviously, it's faster paced and it's probably set builds and stuff. Right. It's through sort of just trying to trying to treat rooms and when you treat rooms and how much you buy and. I mean, I'm I'm somewhat obsessed with footsteps and you know it's you noise and uh, so I do a lot of work putting down carpets, which help kill some of the echo in an echo room. I put a lot of carpets down, like carpet runners that have rubber backing so people don't trip, and we tape all the carpets down. And then I put a lot of shoe shoe foam on people's feet and stuff like that to try. Which I, I really have a thing about footsteps, and um, I'm very obsessed about that. Uh, and uh, and and then I do use ferny pads when, like, if you have just like a big wall that's really reflective sounding that's off camera that you can just cover the whole wall with ferny pads and just make it to dull it. But um, it, you know, it depends. It really depends. I, my my personal feeling is that if you're shooting in a room that looks like a great big room and it sounds like a great big room, that's okay. But if you're shooting in a little tiny corner of a great big room and that corner looks like an intimate thing and it sounds like a you know a giant place, then you've really got to box in that corner and make it sound smaller. So it, it's kind of what you know what's appropriate to the to the frame. I don't mind if a big echo room sounds big and echoey if it looks big and echoey. You know, shooting in a church, it should sound kind of churchy. But <laughs> if it's a small, you know. But if you put some somebody's office in the corner of the church and you don't see that there's 200 feet behind them of open space, then like yeah, we should probably fix that. So you're always so still just mastering for, uh, still just working everything out perspective-wise again. Yeah, yeah, and for what for the frame for what this, for what we're gonna see, and then um, but yeah, I'd say most of the sound work I do is with carpets, and I do have. Sonics and panels like that and stuff, but I don't use them that often, you know. I mean, I always find that you put them up and then right before you shoot, somebody wants to put a light, like right where your Sonics is, and then it comes down in the way. And it's kind of like, okay, you know, why don't we try? But there's certainly certain situations where, I mean, definitely like a, a terrible bathroom or something where you don't see the ceiling, you might put a couple of sheets of Sonics up there and stuff. I have them mounted to foam core, and you can just kind of stick them up pretty easily, but even so, I, I really find less and less I use any of that stuff, mostly just like carpets and, and ferny pads and stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, also like when you have a scene with glass, uh, like a lot of dishes and, and for, you know, um, what do you call that stuff, like uh, flatware, like um, forks, knives, glasses, sometimes you put a lot of stuff on the bottom of all of them to quiet them down as they put them down. But that's there's some issues with that because sometimes you can see it on camera when they lift the top up and you see the stuff on it. So they have to take it off. And of course, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and you know, there's, there's always like uh, somebody will. Uh, sometimes when people walk across a room, something jiggling on a table or something. And so you, know, you got to kind of walk around and, and listen for that. And there's always a computer with the fan idling and you know just all kinds of stuff that you run around just try to turn off everything you can. We were doing this scene in uh, the bedroom of this house I was saying to my boom operator, is there a refrigerator in there? Because no, there's no refrigerator in there. It's a bedroom. And I go, well, that's where is it? I hear this refrigerator. And it's like looking around and pointing around. And I said, well, every time you point at the one, it, um, it was in this movie Mordecai with the Chinese Depp movie that's coming out. And uh, and I was saying, every time you point that one way, I swear I hear a refrigerator in there's no refrigerator, and I went in there and I opened up the closet, the clothes closet, and for some reason there was a refrigerator in the clothes closet. <laughs> I'm like, see, there is a refrigerator. I we turned it off, and then, it, but I was just like, I mean, I agree with him. I'm like, why would there be a refrigerator in there? But there was. I don't know. Maybe the, I mean, it was somebody's house. Maybe they were, you know, needed the insulin cool down. Or I don't know, but it was like, well, <laughs> <laughs> they probably died because we forgot to turn the refrigerator back on. No, I hope that's not the case. <laughs> yeah. 